Take a look at living history from a man who has lived it for 47 years, a master jewelry designer, Sebastiano Sorelli. If you don't have a little bit of a talent like a creative mind, I don't think you'll make it. He now designs for style jewelry in Providence, taking a raw piece of metal like this and turning out things like this by hand. It isn't a piece of jewelry. You can give it to me and I can make it. Many still consider Providence a jewelry center. In terms of design and um, distribution, I think it will remain that way. But it also fits the current industry mold. Today it's very difficult to do it all under one roof. Style, thanks to Sebastiano, focuses on design. It's all about the crystal ball in the design industry. And it counts on Wendy Russell to predict the next hot color, trend, or motif so style can design a piece of jewelry for it. She catalogs those ideas here. We know that green, that palm tree, vegetable green, has been very hot for the coming spring. The jewelry industry has to create demand for what Malika calls the most fickle consumer, the American woman. We sell a product that doesn't keep you warm, doesn't feed you, has no intrinsic value, it just makes you smile. Jewelry like this, on display at this international show in Warwick, makes investors smile. Though style sacrificed profit for pride after 9-11 when it manufactured four million of these American flag pins. We were able to, to fill a demand. Style employs 20 people who package and ship a dizzying array of jewelry items, but it all starts with Sebastiano's skilled hands at a small workbench. In Providence, Larry Estepin, NBC10 News.